shall we begin? Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be opening 20 emissary chests on my rogue in hopes of getting some more legendary items. For those of you just joining in these videos, the emissary chests are rewards for completing four world quests of a specifically listed emissary. Inside you're going to find various things like gold, order hall resources, artifact power items, follower equipment, items to start quests for a pet, and for the fox mount, and of course, the legendaries. Now as this character is item level 861, and the gear generally provided from emissary quests is around 840 item level, there's not likely to be any upgrades to my stats. If you have a character with enchanting, you can disenchant the drops for enchanter materials and make some money that way. Or, like this guy, you can just vendor everything for smaller gold gain. If you enjoy watching, feel free to comment below, click that like button, and or share the videos with your friends. So without further ado, let's get started. See what we get. Some fun shit. Some gold. Well, by the way, we started with uh, about 6,200 gold and about 29,500 in order resources. In case you're wondering on that stuff. Oh, what is this? Torn Invitation. Uh, I believe that is the one for the Fox Mount. We've got a lot of gold. Some interesting stuff. Oh, we got another legendary! Gonna shit bricks if we get a third one or something. That would be funny. Thousand resources, yay. Ah, not bad. We got double whammy. Do we got what is this? A shoulder enchant. While stealth is active and for six seconds after breaking stealth, your critical strike chance is increased by a hundred percent. Boom chaka laka laka boom. Fear not what you can see, but what you can't see. Matthias Shaw, SI7. Well, drop in the haste, but a 2,000 stamina, 1341 edge uh, agility. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. We're going to set that sucker right there. What do we get here? We got six uh, Blood of Sargeras. We're not even going to look. At, we're going to click that right away because, hey, I can enchant them. Look at that. Look at that pretty thing. Woo, look at them. Look at them. 830, yeah, not even compare. 850, no. No. Oh, we got a follower item. 835. No. Yeah, that's still bound. No, that's, I don't think I can use that on anything. Kingslayer's Dreadbaits. I'll set it down here just in case. Put that over there. It's junk. 835. No, that's junk. That's junk. That's definitely junk. Another artifact item. Some 835s, 835s, 835 thingy for the artifact. 850. Eh, haste and mastery. We'll set that aside. That's an iffy. We'll see what we do for stat changes later. Ooh, we got an 870. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get, lose 200 haste and 100 mastery. So we're gonna lose a total of 600 haste. But we're gonna gain a thousand mastery. We'll set that down here somewhere. We'll look at that more later. 840, 840. Yeah, not even close. No. No. 860, 860, 850. Yeah, that's an upgrade. That one's an upgrade for our thing. So we made out like a bandit. Let's see what we got here. A noble event. The invitation appears to be for an exclusive fox hunt. Yes, it's the fox mount. They plan to hunt Vulpin, a rare elusive fox, somewhere in the Broken Isles. Perhaps we can take advantage of this. We need to gather more information about this hunt, but we should do so without alerting the Nightborn to your plans. Your champions can act in your stead and further investigate where the hunt will be. Send champions on missions to investigate the hunt. Boom! Let's go find out where that takes us. Boom. List of invited nobles. We will find out in about... How long does this one take? 
12 hours. We're going to find out in 12 hours what we get here. So let's see. Now, while we're waiting on that, our totals... Oops. We got a total of... 14,800 gold, that's uh, about 8,000 extra gold. And 36, that's about uh, 10,000, no, 5,000 extra order resources. Plus we got the, the fox letter. We did pretty good today. So, I'll let you know how those go, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.